going on adventurers today we are at the belmont inn in abbeville south carolina it was established in 1903 and patty with the g team is here with me hi there everybody there are many many reports of spirit activity here and we've been here for already one night and we have already gotten a lot of activity so we can't wait to share that with you we're having an awesome time and we are gonna just give you guys paranormal overload right now so let's yep. do it all right guys so we are currently in the lobby this is where you check in i just wanted to give you a nice overview of what it looks like okay this is susan the owner of the the belmont inn in abbeville south carolina we were built in 1903 just recently celebrated our 117th birthday she opened on august the 19th 1903. recently we had a guest um he was from tennessee he checked in at about 1.15 a.m. one Sunday morning. He pulled his truck up right to the front door and he got out and he left his truck running. And he said, I have my kids in the truck asleep. He said, we're gonna spend the night and there's a mine here, Diamond Hill Mine. And he was gonna take the kids to the mine. Well, um, he went out to the truck, parked the truck and then brought them in. And the little boy, which looked to be about seven years old, he was asleep and he was carrying him and the little girl looked like she was about 10. So she kind of walked in, had her pillow and her stuff down on, you know, and they got on the elevator and went upstairs to the room. And I was doing some stuff around the desk. And about 15 minutes later, he came downstairs and he said, um, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to check out. And I said, well, is something wrong? And he said, well, let me put the kids in the truck. So he went out and got the truck and pulled it up and, and put them in the truck. And he came back in and he said, uh, we had some strange happenings in that room, it was room five. He said, we had some strange happenings in that room. He said, we walked in the room. I opened the door, we walked in, and my daughter said, Daddy, somebody's in this room. So he looked around under the bed, behind the shower curtain, and there was nobody there. Well, right before he started searching around the room, he laid his little boy, who was still asleep, on the bed. Well, as he was searching, you know, around the room, the little boy raised up and started screaming, Daddy, somebody's in this room. And he started crying, and he couldn't control his crying, and the little girl started crying and saying, Daddy, we got to leave, we got to leave. And I said, well, I can put you in another room. He said, oh, no. They want to leave the building. I told him, I said, you know, we've been known to have some spirits here. I said, but they're all good spirits. And I said, but children sometimes can feel things. He said, well, I felt a little strange when we walked in there. Evidently, there's some things that happened in number five. Let's go inside. It's nice and cool in here. It is nice and cool in here. Oh, the TV's on. That's weird. The TV is on. They don't ever leave the TV's on. We need to let them know about that because the TV is on. They don't, they don't. No. He told us earlier that they don't leave the air on or the TV on in any of the rooms. No, yeah. Um, I'll have to ask him about the too. TV. So we were told some stories about this room and one in particular that uh, a man brought his children in this room and when he laid his little girl down, not even a minute after he laid her down, she started screaming. Or was it the little boy? It was the little boy. The little, little boy. boy. He started screaming that a man was in this room. And then uh, he came out and searched and didn't find a man. Then he laid his little girl down after he got her out of the shower. And the little girl also started freaking out and said that there was a man in the room. If you're in this room right now, and you would like to talk to us, please light this meter up. I also have this meter here as well, that if you get close to it um, and light it up, that'll also show us that you're here. So between these two meters, please let us know that you're in this room. We'd like to know who you are and what you're doing in here and why you're scaring people especially children, that's just not right. You shouldn't be doing that. 
You don't have to be afraid of us. We just want to talk to you. Feeling anything at all? Maybe a little bit. I feel like they're getting closer. Does that sound accurate? Yeah. It's crazy. Maybe we should try on that bed. Maybe that was the right. bed. I mean, maybe something to do with the bed. You know, maybe. Okay, so maybe that was the bed. Maybe it's something to do with the bed. Maybe it's not even so much the room. Yeah, maybe. I, mean, I, I don't know because nothing happened over here. This is crazy. Bed. Look at this, guys. As soon as we move it. Looks like you're right over there where that bed is. Tell us who you are and what your name is and everything. Hello? Right there. Talk to us through. I just reset that. Let's see what happens. All right, this, oh. This meter is going crazy. I hear them. And this is going crazy. Oh, wow. So you want to move to this side of the bed now, huh? My, I just saw my phone vibrate. Guys, I was just sitting here on the bed. Patty was just getting the round pod to um, put on the bed. And all of a sudden, the bed started shaking. Her phone was moving and everything. I feel like... Yeah, it still feels like it's freaking moving. I'll put this back over here in the room. Something is moving under me. It happens to me all the time I turn the camera off. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my. Wow. Thank you so much for making that happen. We appreciate it. amazing. I cannot believe this. Look. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> wow. Can you go ahead and light it up just like you did all the lights? That was so amazing. Thank you. I love it when the blue one comes on. That's really cool. The blue one you don't see come on very often. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh. Do you want to talk to us? Um, I do. Can you, can you tell us your name? <laughs> Sounds like there's a few of you in here. What would you like to tell us? I need help. How can we help you? Yeah, it's pretty rare. Who is the spirit that was standing over the children yeah. and scared them? What's your name? Wow, look at that REM pod, guys. That's insane. Jen. Yes, I'm here. What would you like to say? That's weird it said Abby, like Abbeville. We're only going to be in here for a few more minutes. Is there anything that you want to say to us? Mm -hmm. 
You guys are going to have to speak to us one at a time so we can hear you. Meter. Yes. Yes, you are lighting up the meter. Thank you for doing that. If you could talk to us uh, through our cameras, that would be great. We're going to try to be as quiet as possible. Tell us what happened. I mean, it's possible if somebody upstairs this is a whole old motel, but that's kind of creepy hearing the hearing the walking on the ceiling there. Yeah. Dancing on the it's ceiling. Like knocking. It does sound like knocking. All right, guys. So this is the veranda. This is the restaurant here at the Belmont Inn, and we actually ate here last night. It is phenomenal. So I would highly recommend, if given the chance, that you dine here at the Belmont Inn. The service is wonderful, and the food is absolutely divine. Um, I'm not sure they have they do have different specials every night. So we, I ended up having the uh, ribeye which was fantastic and Patty got the salmon and she said it was the best salmon she's ever had. So this is the entrance from the restaurant into the Belmont. Here's where you would check in to get your table. You have some outdoor seating here. And right here this is where we sat last night was a great spot. It, it was rave reviews. We all enjoyed our food. Okay, this is Marjorie, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. It's something to meet you and Jan. This was kind of like a serendipitous meeting. It wasn't planned. Um, but I had the ghost stories of Uptown Greenwood and the apparitions of Abbeville, and we are in Abbeville, South Carolina. And it, to me, is one of the most haunted places I've ever visited. I would put it up against any place. Um, but you can get these on Amazon.com and it's under Marjorie Linnell as the author. And thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank and you. How do you spell your last name just so they know? Linnell, L A N E L L E. Okay, awesome. Be sure to rush out to Amazon and pick a copy up, guys, yes. of both of her books. And she has another one coming out before Christmas. Uh, the children's book is Can I May I Please? It has nothing to do with ghosts or the paranormal, but um, it's uh, it's a little book for five and under, okay. and it was inspired by my children and grandchildren. Awesome. It sounds awesome. Great. great. Thank job. you. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Thank you so much. We're gonna, we want your autograph on these books. Already done it for you. Oh, Aww, awesome. check her out. <laughs> awesome. And be on the lookout in the future, because I think these guys are going to do a book too. Yes, yes, we are. They've got lots of books inside of them. Yes, we do. Hey, and everybody out there in um, YouTube land, welcome to South Carolina. This is actually the entrance from the restaurant into the Belmont. Here's where you would check in to get your table. We have some outdoor seating here. Check out these beautiful truffle fries that we just got delivered to our table. About to indulge in that. I'm not sure what kind of sauce it is, but it looks really good. Did you try it? It's very good, yes. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be divine. Got a little kick to it, but it's really good. All right. Look at the beautiful azaleas that they have on the table. Very nice touch. These are the best um, truffle fries I've ever had in my life. <laughs> they are pretty good. They're so good. The sauce is just like literally the icing on the fries. Mm. So good. Wow. Amazing. I can't get enough. I'm getting salmon next, and I'm not going to eat my salmon if I don't stop eating these fries. I think you will. I think you'll make room. <laughs> this is the side salad that Margie got <laughs> to go with her delicious meal. Everything is so good. <laughs> it really, really is. And I got the wedge. You got a wedgie, Patty? I got a wedgie. Oh, <laughs> these are the best salads. That's a wedgie. Got the wedgie salad. It's the best wedgie you've ever had. Yes. For real. For those of you that don't know, the wedge salad has, um, basically it's a wedge of iceberg lettuce, has uh, blue cheese crumbles, 
tomatoes. Looks like some onion slivers there, some balsamic vinaigrette, and some blue cheese dressing on the side. But it looks fantastic, and I'm about to devour and this the bacon right now. Bits. Don't forget the bacon bits. Bacon bits all over. They don't skimp on the bacon bits. So Patty got the blackened salmon, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. That looks fantastic. And I got the ribeye with some homemade mashed potatoes. So I can't wait to try that. That looks so, so good. This is actually an order of the wings. What did you get? Um, you got a variety, right? Yeah, it's um, barbecue, teriyaki, hot and mild. Wow, look at that. So they can even hook you up that way so you can get a sampler of wings. So that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. They look fantastic. I gotta tell you guys, this is the best salmon I've ever had. I have a big salmon eater. I eat salmon on every restaurant I go to for dinner, and this is the best. I'm not even kidding you. The asparagus is cooked perfectly. It, it's so good. So far, I've had the salad, the truffle fries. I'm eating the ribeye right now, and it's fantastic. Like I just cannot rave highly enough how delicious this is. So you know, I'm gonna go back and finish eating it. But um, still got to try the wings though. We haven't tried the wings yet, but they look just as good as everything else so and the sweet tea by the way it's phenomenal and i am a big sweet tea girl so you know it's got to be perfect with the sweet tea and, and they hit the mark on that for sure so i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal we're in our room with marjorie linnell sorry i had to look at it i didn't want to tear the name up uh she is the author of this book right here and a few others as well, which I'm going to leave the link to her books in the description area. Hi Marjorie, thank you so much for being here with us and spending some time with us and telling us some history about the hotel and some other places around here. Yeah, uh, well, the hotel, I did a little research before I did my book. I did a lot of research actually, but it was built in 1903. Um, one thing, the, the story that I find most intriguing is back in those days, they would have acting troops that were traveling troops and they would come from New York and go to Atlanta. And Abbeville was kind of right in the middle halfway, so they would stop and kind of lay over here at the Belmont Inn. Um, it was known by a different name then, but now it's the Belmont Inn. And there was this one actress who was too sick to go on stage. And she couldn't perform, but she made her way over next door to the Abbeville Opera House, which is actually the State Theater here in South Carolina. This is a very historic town. Um, it's also known as the birthplace and the deathbed of the Confederacy in this wow. Abbeville, South Carolina. Um, but she made her way over to the theater, too sick to perform, but she went upstairs to the balcony and she watched the performance and gave them a standing ovation when it was over. She came back over here to the Belmont where she died. And it is said that her ghost or her spirit haunts the Abbeville Opera House. They even have a chair seated there with a little light. And if you move the chair or the light, she doesn't like it. But some people who have performed at the Abbeville Opera House, some actors and actresses and people who have worked there said they have seen her spirit up there in the balcony. All right, guys, we're now in room number 11. This is the one we were telling you guys about um, where people were feeling like lightheaded and dizzy and stuff like that. We both walked in here and kind of immediately felt that. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah. Definitely did. Um, definitely a, a shift in energy when you walk in here. It's it's nothing like the other rooms. You feel a different kind of energy in here. It's kind of draining. It is. Like, I feel like so tired. And I just sat down. I just got that, that, oh, that feeling like you just... That mirror just went crooked. What? Okay, so we just walked into room number 11. Is that what it is? Yeah, right? 11. And we've no, well, while we were sitting here talking, Jim was filming, and I happened to be looking over at that mirror, and it, and it kind of slid sideways. It's crooked now. That's crazy. Now, this particular room, people get completely drained in here. They get dizzy and headaches. Which, I mean, maybe we can, you know, maybe we can help. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure what the well, issue we is. Can, but that, that, I'm telling you, when we walked in here, that, that, it wasn't like that, and I, as I was looking at you when you were just filming, I looked over at you, and I hadn't turned my camera on yet. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw something move, and I look over, and that's kind of like Wow, this, that's like weird. That. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Wow. What if I move it back? That's a great idea. Yeah, let's see what happens. 
Why does it sound like somebody's what? on your bed? You just hear that? It's doing it, listen. Your bag's moving. Your things on their bag are oh, moving. Oh, it is. What the heck? Make that meter go off on the bed. Can you get close to it? Let us know for sure that you're here. We want to make sure we're just not imagining things. I mean, can you imagine that? But look at that and that. I mean, that's just crazy. Wow. Oh, maybe that was outside. Maybe it was a car. Maybe. That was creepy. I don't know about you, but my the thing where it's trying to focus on something is moving around on my screen over by that corner. Is it really? Is yours? See, look at this. Look. Oh, yeah. Mine does that sometimes, too. Mine's not doing it right now. That's weird. Again. Are you kidding? Do we miss it? Look. I see it. Look at that. I straightened it up. Okay, straighten it again. <laughs> Can you move it again? Come on. What the heck? Wait a minute. It... Oh, oh. They did not have the air on in this room. They did not. No, they did not. <laughs> oh my god, the hair is standing on the back of my neck. Oh my gosh. It happened at the freaking same time as the REM pod. The same time. They did not have the air on in the room. What they... is Nobody going is on in, in this here? Room. They don't have the air on in a room no one is staying in. Oh my god, girl. Oh my god. Wait, I'm gonna go over here and turn it back off. Is the air plugged in? Yeah, it looks like it is. It was off though. Oh. What? I'm not even kidding you. Right there. There's nobody there, but I could have sworn I saw something. I'm going to um, get my spirit box out and try to communicate with who's here. Uh, can you please come talk to us and tell us who you are? Okay, uh, I know that somebody is here. Someone's moved that mirror. I thought I saw somebody out of the corner of my eye. The air conditioner just came on by itself. Can you turn the air conditioning on by itself yeah, again? turn it on again. And that meter did not go off until that came on. I know, it happened right after. Yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn the necrophonic on, guys. Who is in this room? Scream. Why do you want us to scream? Why are you giving us a headache? Tell us your name, please. Wait. I have a feeling this is the where the lady stayed, the one who died. I just thought the same thing. Uh, and, you know, because there was a lady... I the think opera. she was feeling what we're feeling. I think so. Maybe she had a stroke or something. Is it you, the lady from the opera house that came over here and ended up dying? Mm 
Is it you? You know what else I noticed? Look at the floor. The floor is the original hardwood floors, unlike some of the other rooms here, which holds a lot of residual energy. In is that the, right? In the, yeah. It holds a lot of the residual energies, you know, from all those, those uh, contact with these floors. It's hard for me to explain, but I've read about it. Okay. And a lot of you may know what I'm talking about. Um, I've heard them talk about it on Travel Channel and a couple of their shows, but I, 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 I'm, I just can't really, I'm so tired right now, it's hard for me to put it in the words, but I know what I'm talking about, but it just holds a lot of residual energy, because it's, it's what you think that how many years it's been, how yeah. many people have walked on There's it. memories. All the, 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 all that residual energy is still in this wood. Yeah, that makes okay? sense. And, um, it's the only room that we've been in so far, there may be some others, that has this floor. So True. That could be why. And I have a feeling maybe this is the room where she died. It's possible. I don't know. I just, that went through my head. Yeah. And it's weird. It, right it went through your head at the same yeah. time. So we want to know if the reason that you're doing this is just so people understand what happened to you. Is, is that what's going on here? <laughs> Did you have a stroke? I was sick. <gasps> God. <gasps> Wait. What were you sick with? My hand hurts. I'm starting to like that necrophonic water than anything. My hand hurts really bad. Is it really? It's like sharp pains in my hand. <laughs> Why is her hand hurting? What's going on? I couldn't make it out. Called you a bitch. Maybe she's saying witch. <laughs> Were you a witch? <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know. I just I'm looking around the room, I'm just waiting to see something, or you know. I just feel a lot of like a very strong energy in this room. I got like this. It, it's kind of like the same feeling that was in my hand. It's going up my neck now. Yeah. I'm kind of dizzy. I don't know if we should stay in here much longer. Listen, I really would appreciate it if you would not hang around here anymore. Can you try to move on, go into the light? Have you seen the light yet? Listen. Okay, I'm listening. Dude. My head. We understand and, and feel so bad for what happened to you. It's just not okay for you to make other people feel that way. We're, we're sorry yeah. about what happened to you, though. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Okay, now mine's trying to focus on something by the bathroom door. There's something by the bathroom door. It's moving up and down by the bathroom door. You haven't made this meter go off here. What's going on with that? I moved it to the edge of the bed. You haven't made it go off yet. All right, I'm going to turn the spirit box off right now because we're going to just sit here and listen quietly and see if you want to actually say anything into our cameras. Right. 
or to us directly. Thank you so much for talking with us and please go into the light. If you feel like you're stuck here, you don't have to be. You're free now. I'm free. Did you hear that? I think I did, yeah. Yes, you are free. You don't have to stay here and keep, re you know, reliving what you went through. You need to just move on now and be free from this place. And you're, of course, welcome to visit here, but you're just not allowed to make people feel sick. Yeah, we don't want other people feeling what you felt. And we're, again, we're sorry about that, but, you know, you can't live your afterlife affecting people that way. Look, there is a re is this a remote for the air? There's a remote for the air, but it was sitting over here this whole time. It sure was. I mean, no, I just now realized that this yeah. remote is right there. It's been in the windowsill the whole time. Wow. That's pretty incredible. The tech can we I can't wait to tell the owner tomorrow. I know. It just came on by itself. Um. There is Abraham, who was one of the bailhops here. We are currently in the dirt room here at the Belmont Inn. And uh, Patty's got the REM pod set up right back there. Jessica was so nice. She just bought us this lamp right there. And there's Margie. Hey. Patty's right over here. Hi, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see what happens with the REM pod. And we're going to film a little bit in the quiet and the darkness. Uh, we just have some, you know, some of our lighting, but... I think this is going to be good to set the set the tone here so that they come and communicate with us. So let's see what happens. The lights are off, guys, and this one over here is flickering. <laughs> we were told there's a lot of activity down in here, so we decided to come in here and check it out. Um, what was this room used for exactly? You horses. The horse and carriages, they would pull them in, mm -hmm. and uh, they would tend to the horses while the people got out here at the Belmont. Awesome. Yeah. She said all this used to be like open and they would pull them in and go through the, go through yeah, all the way all through the to where the through. basement is now on the other yeah. side. And as you can see, it has a dirt floor. What? We're just getting started. They're here. Can you make my REM pod light up that's over there on that dresser? That residual energy after somebody's gone can linger on objects or even dirt or even in water a lot of times. True. You're right. So, I oh, I just got a confirmation chill. I want to call it blowing. <gasps> we keep hearing, we keep hearing lots of noises around us. I mean, some of it, of course, can be settling. Some of it can be. But there's no floor for settling. Oh, you know what? Just right. dirt. Yeah, um, it could be the ceiling, though. Yeah, it could be, but it, more, it sounds more like it's coming from around us, not up above us. Yeah. You know? But um, we think that maybe Abraham hangs down here. That's what a lot of people are saying, you know. Um, Abraham, if you are here, could you please come through my spirit box and say Abraham? Thank you so much, Abraham. Are you okay with us being here and talking to you? Beautiful. Sounded like beautiful. It did say beautiful. Wow. My name is Patty, and I'm here with Jen and Marjorie. Pretty. Thank you. Does the name Thank you. say pretty? I think so. Anything you'd like to tell us? Hi. Hi. How are you? We're great. We are good. We good. are good. We love talking to spirits and we'd love to hear from you. What else do you want to say to us? Pray for me. Okay, we will pray for you, definitely. I hear that a lot from spirits. So even after you're gone, we, we should pray for you, huh? Mm -hmm. 
There may be something to that purgatory thing, huh? Well, God, we pray that you... Wait a minute. I feel like cold right near me right now. Dear Lord, please. Tonight? Tonight? Lord Abraham is asking us to pray for him, so we're praying for him. Please help him in his time of need, whatever the need may be. Amen. 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 Wow. Guys, this is the first time we've ever had a drink made just for us. <laughs> Ghost Hunters Martini, right here. Come on in. So if somebody comes in and asks for one, they will hook you up. Yes. It's pretty awesome. That is so cool. I know. And uh, the great thing about these books too is it has the addresses of these things and so you can ride by you may not go into all of them because some of them are private residents right but um it has the address in there and it's in the series of the history and mystery of the south carolina lakeland so you learn the history and it's not boring because the ghost stories make it fun exactly you're you're yeah. so right not a whole lot captures my attention the way this book did. Well, thank I started you. reading it, and here we were trying to get downstairs to come meet you. But I'm like, oh, she's downstairs, I get to meet her. But gosh, I'm so interested in this book, it was hard to put it down. Yeah, and it's it true. Just, and I stopped by because they had sold all the books, and they needed more books. And then they said, well, here you guys are. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of serendipitous. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, uh, Definitely. And I really enjoyed meeting you guys. And thank you so much for promoting the book. Oh, you're welcome. I, and I'm promoting it because I totally uh, uh, believe in it. Uh, believe in her. I've spent the last four hours with her. We've done <laughs> dinner together. We've told stories. Has it been that long? Lots of laughs, maybe longer. Yeah. I don't know. Time flies when you're out of Exactly. <laughs> But it's been a lot of fun. We're looking forward to spending some more time with her. She might take us tomorrow, as long as it doesn't rain, to some other places around here and kind of show us around town. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jim and Patty. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are too. You are too. To your show too. And I'm just so excited to meet you. Thank you for coming to Abbeville and welcome to South Carolina. Thank you. I've never been to South Carolina. It's my first time. I've been through South Carolina, <laughs> yep. but never stopped and stayed until now. Well, the food's great. Awesome. The hospitality's great. Oh, the food's And the amazing. people are wonderful here. Mm -hmm. And everybody out there in YouTube land, if you've not come to the most haunted hotel in South Carolina, it's right here in yep. Abbeville, South Carolina, the Belmont Inn. Yep. I've had my eye on this place for a couple of years now. I just feel so honored to finally be here. We're so glad you're here. And just before we started filming, your yep. equipment was going yes. crazy in this room. Yeah, my REM pod is over there on the bed. I did turn it off because we're filming and I didn't want it to have that ringing in the background, that buzzing. But it was going off and you'll see a lot more of that in our video from here. Of course, you may have already seen some of it, but um, it's it already went off within like a minute after I said it there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And in 2021, we're going to have an event that be, we'll be announcing later on. It's going to be called a peek into the paranormal, mm -hmm. kind of like a paracon convention or whatever. And there's only 16 rooms available. Ooh, so when we post it, you better be one of the first ones there because these guys are going to be speakers there, we hope. Yep. Yeah, yeah we're definitely. We're going to be speakers here. I'm definitely on board with that. Um, she's invited us to be speakers, and we're, so we're going to do it. And uh, um, if any of you are interested in participating in it, we'll give you the exact exact dates as soon as we know. You don't know the exact dates. We you? don't yet. We're waiting to see from the hotel. Okay. Yep. So as soon as we know the exact dates, we will let you know so that you can uh, let me know if you want to participate in it or not and come here and stay at this fabulous beautiful haunted hotel. I think once we have the dates, the information, maybe we'll do a live stream. Yes. And we'll give the information. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a real good idea. But it's going to be, it's going to be a blast. I think it's, it is too. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Me too. Um, very few people come to the Belmont Inn and, and, and don't get, you know, some information or some something then, to happen. To right. And then an experience, to have an experience. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say.